so happy. Even I'm very, very happy. I have a very, very famous guy in my studio. One of my favorite radio presenters. Journalist by profession. Nana Romeo Willy. Willy. <laughs> you know me. Nana. <laughs> What's up? Welcome to my studio. Thank you, my brother. Links podcast. Thank you. And then you have a beautiful, cute studio. Thank you, bro. I love the setting. I am very honest. Uh, the setting is very beautiful. This, I wouldn't call it an interview. Yeah. It's a conversation. Yeah, it's a conversation, of course. I want you to talk to me. Yeah. But before that, I want to know who Nana Romeo Willy Willy is. Oh. Well, in short, my name is Abdul Karim. I'm a Muslim. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm born Muslim, mm. and I'm still a Muslim. Mm. Um, I'm from Domahi Kro. Yeah, and I come from a family of five. I happen to be the only boy. Mm. So when you go home, they call me Tanko. Tanko. Uh, in Zongo, when you hear Tanko, Tanko means the only boy in the family. Oh, okay. So I see. Um, basically, that is me. Mm. Uh, I, I, I started my life as a teacher. And then later, I, I moved into radio, and I've been doing radio for almost 20 years now. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You didn't say everything. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I just I know, I know, you because, you know, I know you so much that I you know yourself. Maybe you have I no know, idea. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but, so, but, but, but I, I have a long, I have a long journey. I know, this if is I why I want to tell you more, because yeah. I remember one, one conversation I, I, I've, I've watched you, mm. you talk so much about yourself, yeah. your experience in teaching. Yeah. How you migrated from there yeah. to a radio station to another sure. one to another one, you know? And uh, I like this because I think it's a motivation to me, it's true. to everybody out there. Yeah. And it's really, it's something. I'm someone when I watch you mm -hmm. and your life story inspires me. Mm -hmm. Then it's like a memory card in my head. Yeah. I will never forget. And you yours know, is one of them mm -hmm. that I take like a memory card in my head. Sure. You know, sure. because I've seen you interview bunch, yeah. a lot of famous artists. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Alright, let's go there okay. a bit. Okay. How do you do this? Being, I mean, being a journalist or a radio yeah. presenter, how do you manage to have access to all these people to interview them? Well, I, I, I'll say it's not easy because mm. we've got a lot of presenters in Ghana. Mm. I mean, a lot, of, a, a lot of radio stations in Ghana. So if at the end of the day, your name stands out or you become one of the the the, the known names that means you've you've done you've done well for yourself and your career mm. uh, i wouldn't take the credit by myself i'll give it to god almighty yeah. allah mm. because uh, a lot of people are doing what i'm doing but they are not known okay right. so wherever i am in life at this moment mm. I give glory to allah because it is by his grace that i'm here mm. some are even doing far better than me but probably where I am in life at the moment, mm -hmm. they are not there. Mm -hmm. So all the glories be to Allah. Mm -hmm. Also, I will say that hard work and determination mm -hmm. uh, are, 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 are my key because I am someone who never loses hope. Mm -hmm. that's, that's one thing about my life that I don't think anybody can take it away from me. I don't easily lose hope. Nothing can make me lose hope in life. Because I've seen it all, mm. and I'm still I'm still experiencing a lot too. I come from a normal home. Mm. My mom used to sell porridge, cocoa. So my nickname is Coco Raba. Oh, okay. You get me? Yeah. yeah. I a lost common, my, common name. Yeah, yeah, yeah Coco Raba. Yeah. And I'm so proud of that name because mm. I remember one time there was a woman who sells, I mean, uh, uh, roadside okay. plantain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the roadside, yeah. and she she had a chance to meet me, and she said. I mean, shout. That be bad radio. So we have a couple cool rubber piano. Now goosebumps are coming because me so many say one day me ma be case. I must see a cocoa rubber ma because I say sometimes she asks herself, how can a cocoa rubber get to this level? Cocoa, a typical cocoa rubber. So she's proud that yeah, she also sells roasted plantain because one day she knows her children will also say that their mother used to sell that. So it's an inspiration to her. Yeah. Where I come from. To be honest, there, there's no there's no radio presenter from my hometown. I I was born in Kofi Badukro. That's mm. where I come from. Mm. And in fact, nobody even dreamt of becoming a radio no presenter radio because one, there's no radio station in that town, <laughs> and you have to travel to Doma. Yeah. Yeah. So like how, how many minutes? 
Oh well, at that time when mm -hmm. we were kids, you have to walk. it used to be long for us. Yeah. But now you can even walk. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because the towns are of course, developing. of course. So I never saw this coming, mm -hmm. but I knew that I could do it because mm -hmm. I started using my my comb mm -hmm. to to speak. To speak. Using it as a microphone. So sometimes when I get a chance, I'm in the bathhouse. Yo, 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 yeah, your friend me, uh, that, that, that time my nickname was Nastido. Oh. Yeah, yo, yo, your friend me Nastido, Utie, then I'll mention Adoma FM, Utie, Gift FM. Oh, so wow. I used to present on my own in my bathroom or in my room when I had the chance. I was just practicing it because I listen to people and sometimes I, I write down the things they say mm. and I practice mm. and all that. So the inspiration came from Doma. Yeah. Yeah. There was a popular presenter, may he so rest in peace. Mm. Uh, his name used to be Winaman. Winaman. So everybody was listening to Winaman at that time at Doma mm. FM. So he inspired me to love radio. And then I also got the chance to travel to Benin. I had an aunt, okay. an aunt in Benin who used mm. to run a restaurant. Yeah. So I went to, I mean, help her a bit. And I was listening to another DJ at, uh, at one radio station by name Onsti Crazy, that was the name of the DJ. Wow. And I loved how he used to mix the songs, he used to speak a little English. Like, like a mentor. Yeah, so all these people inspired me and I told myself I want to be like them one day. So it started low and behold, in fact when I started I never attended a radio school. I didn't even know where they, they even pick a form to a radio yeah, school. Uh, I, I used to be a teacher mm -hmm. back at Doma in Crow, mm -hmm. from 2004 up to 2005. I was a French teacher. Wow. And then in the course of... You were a French teacher? Yes, I, I actually oh. learned. I, I'm a French scholar. I'm a French wow. student, yeah. Wow. So uh, I remember when we used to teach, some of my colleagues' teachers, you'll be there and they'll, they'll be like, Charlie, me go school, next year me go school. So I asked myself, when am I also saying that next year me go school is because my, my home? Yeah, everyone is uh, I mean, system, no? Mm -hmm. So when will I say this? Okay, mm -hmm. so why don't I go and start Life because teaching then to me, yeah. as a summer prabo. That time I was taking 18 CDs as my salary, yeah. 180,000 yeah, those days, 2006. <laughs> there, so um, I just decided, okay, why don't I move to a different town where nobody knows me and start school afresh? So I went to Techiman and started. Okay, so you wanted to start school afresh? Yeah, what kind of school did you want to go? No, because I'm a typical French student, okay, because I had completed. Senior high, high in Benin, Cote mm d'Ivoire -hmm. okay. and Benin. Yeah. And but because I French have, yes, but because I didn't have any Ghanaian background in terms of education, oh, okay. I decided to start all over. All over again. So even when you were a teacher, good. Someone wow. who who was a teacher, I had to go back to JHS and go and start from JHS too. Are you serious? Yes, that's my story. So when I got there, even at that time, my English was very bad. I was very bad in English because. I didn't have any anglophone, I mean, background. Mm. My background was purely yes. francophone. Francophone. So I wasn't good at English. So when I got to the school, Abadia's uh, junior high school, yeah. I told the teacher, the French master, that he was the headmaster, mm. that I want to write BC with them. Mm. And he said, ah, no, be a uncle school. I had the old bro for cry here. And I told him, he said, don't mind my English. My, 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 this thing, uh, how do you call it? Brain. My brains work. Wow. So allow me and let's write. He said, oh, please. You know what? I can consider you, but you have to go back to form two, and then come to come to form three, right? Otherwise, you'll you be right. spoil our grade. Oh. That's what I said. Give me a chance. Yeah. So lo and behold, he didn't really give me the chance to go to form three. Form three. I had to start from form two. Form two. So I started from form two, and whilst doing that, mm. I was a French teacher at the same time. Wow. So basically, yes. sitting part I was teaching went to school, and I was schooling too. Then, then when. Nobody even knew yes. about this thing. Yes. So I remember one time my students were like, I teach a way they because I closed from school oh, and then I go and teach. School. Because I, I was I just teach. a subject teacher, French teacher. Yeah. So I go after after two. Two. Because after the private schools two. you used to close at I think four four thirty to four thirty something like that. Mm -hmm. So I close here and then rush to the private school to wow. go and teach. So they were like, teacher, we did be at Tadeh, but they didn't know my story. And also, life was so hard for me. Very hard for me. So I remember when I was a teacher, I used to have a spoon in my pocket anytime I was going to teach. Because I didn't have money, 
I didn't know anybody in Techiman. I was a hustler, struggling. Mm -hmm. Nobody was taking care of me. So in Techiman, you were just living alone? Living alone. I oh, wasn't what? living with any family member. I only begged someone that, please, you want this to is my story. Can, can I perch here? Yeah. And they gave me a chance to perch there. Okay? So, um, uh, uh, so when I, I, I was going to teach, I always had a spoon in my pocket okay. so that during, during, during the time the kids, I mean, well, I'm, I'm going time. to have their lunch or eat whatever, then I join them and eat small, small. But to them, it was fun. I yeah, mean, imagine your teacher yeah, eating your food. So your food I taste bit. your rice, yeah. I taste this one too. So at the end of the I, I mix yeah. the food. Sometimes, yeah. this is banku. You have to eat small banku here, small kinki here, small rice here. A mix up of everything, I drink water, and I'm full for the whole day, till the next day. So this is how I live story. my life. Yeah. So bro, it, it, it hasn't been easy. But this is the reason why I don't lose hope in life. You go look at where I'm coming from. I have a lot of story to tell you, See. but at least with the little I'm sharing with you, you it's, should imagine. It's a great you should imagine. Yeah. I mean, I have good ones. Really. Yeah. I've been through a lot, yeah. but your story yeah. is crazy. Bro, I have a. I have, really? my, one day I'll write a movie with my life story. You write a book. A book. I would love to yes. read it. Yeah. I've yeah. suffered. I can see. I've suffered. I, I, mean, I can feel it yeah. from what you say. I, I started taking care of myself from the age of sixteen. Because I lost my yeah, energy. Uh, yes. So the, the junior high I attended in, 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 in Techiman, mm. I took care of myself. Mm. So from there, I had to go, go to secondary school. My mom, none of my, my family knew the schools I attended from the, the junior high to the university and I attended. How did you pay your school? Bro, so in Techiman, Techiman actually has a big market. Yes, but I'm know. told that it's the, the biggest, biggest market in, in West Africa. In West Africa yeah. So I used to go. And do bow bar mm, in the market. Yeah. So small, small job, you know, job. These sacks, these maize sacks and all that. So I sometimes carry onion, I mean onions in pans and I that was how I was struggling, bro. And this is what I, I managed to take care of myself. But there was a good story too. Mm. When I completed junior high mm. and I was awaiting to go to secondary school, mm. then I realized no. There's, there's something in you that you love, radio. radio. Why don't you start practicing it? So I wrote application letters to one radio station, Asta mm. FM, yeah. to be, to be, to be, I mean, employed as a francophone DJ. DJ, because, in that station. Because I speak fluent French, <laughs> yeah. I could do something new. Yeah. And they were not giving me the chance, so okay. I wrote six application letters. Wow. And because they were still not calling me, there was a man at Classic FM, which is another radio station in Tijiman, who used to host a francophone program. So I joined him as his boy. Yeah. So I could hold his CD bag, like, nana, like he would be sending yeah. me do yeah. this for me. Yeah. And then he gave me the chance to be on the show, small, 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 yeah. small. Yeah. But at a point he left. Okay. So I thought they, they were going to give me the, the program the to program. host, but they told me I didn't have any radio training. Qualification, so they nothing. can't give me. So I went to a nearby city, Wenchi. Wenchi, yeah. So I okay. went to Wenchi, and there was another guy too who was hosting the same francophone program, mm -hmm. Abasi. Mm -hmm. But he wasn't fluent in French. Mm -hmm. So he, t he tried me and realized that I was good. And I became an enemy to this guy. Because he saw that he if I the get the chance, I'll take the job. So this guy didn't give me the chance. So I had to come back to Techiman again. again. And come and beg the radio station I wrote the letters to. So the manager was like, this guy, what do you have in you that yeah, is so pushing you to come here like that? Six application letters. <laughs> Are you not tired? I said, no. My instincts tell wow. me that I'll work here. Wow. He said, wow, I wow. like your game. Okay, you know what? We'll give you a try. So they employed me there with that salary. Mm. So meaning they officially accepted me to be part of them, but they won't pay me. Mm. So I used to sleep at the station. At that time, the station used to close at 12 midnight. It, we went, we, we, I mean, we weren't running 24 hours. Mm -hmm. So midnight, yeah, okay. we would sleep there. And yeah. then at dawn, 4 a.m., we would open the station. So that was how I got the chance to start playing gospel, sports, sports, sports. Then later, I got the francophone, which was my, my pillar. pillar. And bro, when I started, I swear, the whole teaching man and its environs, everybody was talking about Romeo. Romeo, wow. Romeo, Romeo. And that time, I got admission into Techman Secondary School. So, so I was, then you were not even in secondary no, school? No, I hadn't started because we were waiting for the results. Yeah. 
So when the results came, I was already in an Romeo from Asta FM. All over. And I got the chance to go to the senior high school. Nice. But I couldn't go to body because the, the, I mean, there was no money. The job and the job too. I had to manage the to the school and the radio. Mm. Okay. But fortunately for me, the program was only for weekends. Yeah. And I was a day student. Mm. But walking to the school was too far. So there was a man who used to sell bicycles. Yeah. And I used to mention his name. He gave me one bicycle for free. Oh. And then anytime I come out, mention. So that was a bicycle that saved me. I will use it to work, I will use it to school. And another good news that I had was that when I was attending school, because my name was coming, yeah. I, I was shy. Okay. Oh, you are a presenter, oh, secondary school. Second school. So, how, how, yeah. so, me go school up, then I put uh, me, like my normal dress, a yeah. filter there, I put mm -hmm. it in my bag, a point, yeah, and then I wear it. <laughs> so that they will not realize that I'm part of them. So, I did this for three years. So whilst schooling, I was also on radio doing this up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And then I was able to finish school. No, no. Do you believe in hard work and grace? Oh yeah. I believe in I believe in hard work. Everything you said yeah. now. It tells me it is hard work mm -hmm. with the grace that came upon you. Yeah. Sure. That made you who you are. Mm -hmm. And really you, you give me goosebumps yeah. when I when I listen to stories like yeah. this. I want to come back to where you, uh, so what's the name, uh, your current workplace? Uh, uh, Accra FM. You do or you make a lot of interviews. Yeah, no. Headlines. Headlines. <laughs> and sometimes yeah. I get I, I get to read headlines about Nana. Mm -hmm. This one was late yeah. and he didn't even care yeah. to, to say anything to me yeah. and then because he's a musician, yeah. he doesn't care yeah. to even call you. How do you deal with this kind of people? So you see, my, my story that I just told you, mm. I'm a very disciplined guy, mm. very, very disciplined. Mm. When it's A, it's A. Mm. When it's B, it's B. I don't, I don't lie. I don't know how to pretend. You're not so, the type that yeah. something convinces no, you no, that no. this is the name. So yeah. no, no, no. Mm. Because me, apart from the Kujuan trees, I mean, our seniors, yeah, yeah. all the normal artists, mm. okay, mm. that are reading at the moment, mm. most of them, our juniors, our younger brother. Right. So me, I started radio. See, I've done radio for almost 20 years. So if you take 20 years from their yeah. ages, music, I mean, they are our younger yeah. brothers and sisters. Yeah. Yeah. So I will not sit and let anybody think that he's popular, mm. so he wants to dictate for me. Mm. It is my platform. Mm. You are not paying money for it. Right. So when you are coming on the show, mm. you need to respect the show, respect the platform, and respect the host. When you come to my office and you don't show respect to me, I'll let you know that this is my office, mm -hmm. so you can go. And you go. how do you react to people mm -hmm. who come on your show live and being good? No, no, man, I don't care. Another thing that pushed me in life mm -hmm. is negativities. When yes, bad, bad, energy, energy, yeah. bad energy, bad energy. It, it really, hey, bro, me do you You see, I'm swearing. Mm -hmm. Me do you say life, eh? I did carry me on, pan ya at the moment for me. Hey, I'm a DJ. <laughs> because Emma Mew said, Wow, Kukura Ba, and I did pa. Yeah, I say, and Tom and his son, do so in Takrache. You are right. But yes, you are right. It is a one swan Takrache, I'll be an insult. You get me? Yeah. And I am proud of who I am mm. and what I do. Mm. So far as I remember, Corona make a four beer, and I am a human and me and a dear. I'm proud of it. And he said, Obi Dimatem in my line of duty, mm. and I make. Mm. Later, on me, then they are like, no, oh, no, no. oh, yeah, you are a gentleman. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I, one no, time no. I insulted you. Oh, I hear that a lot. No, no, fetch me. I do what I'm paying, but me, who no, know, you're a cool guy. We are sorry. So, oh, again, I'm sorry. People come and they confess to me. That's sad, yeah. though. But, Nana, no, no, there's one side of you that I know. Maybe you probably will be shocked or surprised. Are you a motivational speaker? Yeah, that's that's my gift. I can see. I inspire people a lot. You. Talk a lot about relationships. Advice about relationships. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm not married though. <laughs> <laughs> so that's well, why it's a talent. It's well, a gift. Uh, yes, exactly. It's it doesn't really matter because you, you, you wisdom is different it's from, different from experience. Exactly. You get me? The way the way you, you talk about it, sometimes we really maybe feel like you support the women too. It's much. true. You know, I'm I'm the only boy mm -hmm. in my family, so I have sisters. So growing up, I, I agree with, with women. Uh, women. And I have seen how vulnerable they are. They are mm. weak. Mm. 
and men, you and I know how we take advantage of women. You get me? Yeah. Sometimes a man can use fried rice mm -hmm. eh, to hit a woman <laughs> in bed, and you are like, oh, come on, fried rice. Just because she's hungry at that time, yeah. she wanted food. The food. And in exchange of mm -hmm. that, see what he has given. Sometimes to, oh, me, I love you. Mm -hmm. Me, he has a wife at home. So we need to guide them. Mm -hmm. We need to give them the guidelines mm -hmm. so that they don't fall into our mm -hmm. temptations and our traps. But Nana, do you know women have 99 devils? <laughs> <laughs> no, but honestly, I, 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 I pity women a lot. Yeah, I mean, when I listen to your, your, your motivational words, yeah. advices and all the internet, sometimes I'm a bit annoyed. At it's true, I know. She's, for that she's that talking too much for the women. Yeah, I mean, I I'm like, what, what's wrong? But you know the funny thing, the day I will speak a little against the women, the first of all, you, you people, eh? When I talk for you there, you are happy. Yeah. But do you think I'm always going to talk, I mean, positive about you? Sometimes yeah. I need to also hit you. Yeah, you're so, right. So, but, but like you said, 70% mm. uh, go in favor of women mm. and 30 for men. You're right. Because men are able to take care of themselves. Yeah. We are, I think we are strong. Mm. Yeah, but women, they need to be pampered. I'm a lover boy, <laughs> but unfortunately, yeah. uh, we are here. Yeah, so I, mean, I know what you mean. And I have a daughter. Yeah. You know, so... That's I cherish women. I mean, did you change your life when you had a daughter? Hey, bro. <laughs> <laughs> me, Question, eh? I mean, I'm happy. Yeah. I mean, I'm happy. Mm -hmm. But since I gave birth to my, my daughter, daughter. I think I need to cry. Okay. Because, especially when I'm driving with my daughter, mm -hmm. then I'll be on the phone talking to another. Mm -hmm. I respect her so much that I don't do that. I try to be very disciplined mm -hmm. and responsible any time I'm with my daughter. Mm -hmm. Where you're bad, where you're fine. I tell you, you know what? Many are calling and I'm thinking of I'll call you later. And I, 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 yes, I'm a sister in life. So this year, me today, me me nyan basa basa masa. Just think about her most of the time. Because she, she will, you will be her woman. That's it. That's it. And she's closer to me than the mother. Yeah. That's it. 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 He shatter, you can't hate Shatta Wale. I know, I know. It's, you get me? It's, it, I think it's by nature. Yeah, you can't hate me. Mm. But I don't support some of the things he does. The insult yeah. and some of the things. That's the only thing I don't like about him. So normally, I don't know if you have ever come across me insulting him before. No, no, no. But no, I always no, no, advise no, no. him. It's everything I see about uh -huh. you, I've never seen you insult him. Never. Anybody. I will never. This is not my But we, the SM fans. You don't like it. I don't. <laughs> but I think it, 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 in other way, yeah. it's it's good always to find someone to advise another person. It's, it's nothing negative about it. But when we see that we are boiling a bit, it's normal, you know. It's just that sometimes, me personally, I feel like. We Ghanaians, we don't like people who are so difficult and yeah. hard on us, yeah. you know. So people say I am a beam nation. Uh, yeah. So because well, of that, I always find faults with Shata. Oh no, I don't think but so. But I love Shata Wale. One time we met her, you, 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 what are you? <laughs> so you don't do me anything. I just they help yeah. you small, small. Yeah. We know they help it's each other. Direction. I love Shata. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even though I'm more closer to uh, Stone, Stone Boy, Boy, but I love Shata Wale. You know one funny thing. Mm -hmm. I'm a, I'm I'm full blooded SM fan. Okay. On my birthday three days ago, I woke up and then my wife, I don't know how he did it, and then I had a message, a birthday message from Stone Boy. Wow. And I I, I screamed. Wow. I was shocked. I was screamed like, my God! Wow. But then I was like, oh God! I wish he has come for so automatically. He <laughs> will love you too. Exactly. So yeah. I think it's all love. You know, it's just music. Then, you know? No, I love Shatta. Um, no, no. I want to go into your private life a bit. Mm. Forgive me. Okay. Um, one time, you came out about a news. I know you are a man, I'm a man. You probably came out of head, you know, about how a popular, I don't want to mention it, yeah. pastor, has something to do with your fiancé or your partner. Yeah. You know, which, I think, had a bit toll on you, because if it doesn't, you wouldn't say anything about it. How was this experience for you? I mean, at that time, you know, you having someone that you trust so much, and then you want to go to the man of God that you think is a friend, a brother, a friend, a brother. And he or someone like that you feel like you, I mean, he's he stands for a purpose. A man of God stands for a purpose. So you will just want to go for directions, and then it turns out to be something different. Now, now I won't tell. Say it's a question. Advise me about these things. Well, 
uh, like you said, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a story that has been, I mean, uh, handled and differently. Differently, yeah. I've said, I, I mean, I've spoken about it, mm -hmm. I've set my mind on this and all that. But in a nutshell, all I can say is that we should be careful how we trust people. Especially when it comes to relationship stuff. Bro, be careful how you trust your male friend. Kofi, tell me when you meet me, you should be telling me that I'm not going Because women are vulnerable. Okay? Sometimes women give themselves to some people and later they're like, ah, why did I do this? Like, it, it, it happens accidentally. Sometimes that's how they, they see it. For me, so vulnerable to the sender. A woman only needs comfort. Yeah. Sometimes say, "Oh, by yeah. AD, I reward." Mm -hmm. Now, be my team, then you to the her comfort now. At that moment, no one will be able to that. So, because of that, I have decided. Me me worry, and I'm in Penampu. Me need no problem. Me need no person. So, it yes. means you learned a lot from this yes. experience. Because what happened to me, you know, actually, I didn't go to him to speak to my woman on any matter. We were actually going out. Mm. It was a holiday and he called me. Mm. So I respected him and I went there with my girlfriend. Mm. And then he had the chance to approach her and blah, 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 blah. What happened, happened. You get me? So it is something I want to do again. Mm. I've learned my lessons. Next time, if I am with my woman mm. and whoever calls me, mm. I'll tell them I'm not alone. Please give me some time. Mm. I mean, yes, I mistake. You were hurt. Very. Because the woman was everything at that time. And just one thing that pains me mm. when I hear stories like this mm. the public, how they take it. Mm. You know, because just it's a Christian, popular, high popular yeah. country, the people tend to come for you, you know, right. without thinking about your pain. Yeah. Oh, but in my case, only few people were against me. me. Because the story had come out already, already. from his own junior pastor. Mm. And after that, I didn't even say anything till a year or two after mm. that I came to speak. So people knew the story, but they were only waiting to hear from me. So when I spoke, they were like, ah, say that here. So they, I didn't get a lot of insult on this Nana, issue. What kind of advice? Will you give to people or couples who tend to seek advice or and that's what I said. whatever from, it's from not these good, people? Don't do that. It's better to come back home. Yes, solve it with my yourself or she, the lady no. has has family. Fa that's only exactly. my father-in-law. That's all. That's what Friends I do. Friends, yeah, don't involve them. That's what I Especially do. Especially women. Mm. Even we men, cradi ana itimi handa na kaka. Women. Oh yeah. I said the room you carry on film do you have? Go. When you are in the casa, you have bad room you open. Oh, ama when you turn, now you have no room you date you. You get me? These are mistakes in the day. Oh, when you go casa, mami, nobody should do that. Any cra, try and solve your own issue. The room pass on a move fire, mama. Obi ne, she said you mama. It is a problem, but you should be able to solve it. Don't involve any any friend. Obi involve Obi a mani a relative family. Person, but I don't for the so no, no, you've been through a lot now. You have come out of all these experiences, you, you, you become a household name, and you also become like a motivational speaker. So, basically, you're like a role model to all of us. Yeah. You, you, you've been surprised about the things I know about you, right? Yeah, of course. You follow me exactly it because not about me. I don't just follow you, you are like a mentor. That's right, that I learn a lot from you. Like you don't know, yeah. so whatever you do out there, mm -hmm. don't forget a lot of people Keep are learning from me. That's what I can say. Thank you. Thank you so much for blessing me with this beautiful Thank you, brother. Before you go, yeah. what do you do for fun? Well, football. Everybody knows that I don't joke with football. I'm okay. sure you can even testify. <laughs> I can I'm see. A, I'm a proud Ghana. Do you watch or you you, you play? I watch. I used to play. Uh -huh. When you ask my brother, he will tell okay. you those days yeah. at Kofi Badu Pro. Yeah. Hey, I used to be a strong you defender. Know, nice, so. <laughs> I even played a team called Watuza Babies. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I had injury. Injury. Yeah. In Ghana, <laughs> you know, the age. The age. <laughs> Uh, but aside football, yeah. I love music, I love to travel. Mm. And I you love, love travel. Yeah. Sometimes I see you in UK, mm. and then I'm seeing you in Germany. Yeah. I'm, ah, nah. 
Oh, I want to. Oh, anything. I mean, how do you do this? I mean, with, how, how do you do it with your job? You know, because you are very busy. Most of the them time. are job, job related. Related. Yeah, okay. yeah, I mean, oh. so like personal. Okay. The boss with him said, me, me to me survive on radio. They said, me did not my big and I'm I faithful to him, and I'm I loyal to him. Yeah, I know. Nine to ten years. Yeah. 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 For like 20 years. Yeah, you are you are an icon in radio and if you just stop like that, don't you think I'm a big fan? I don't know. 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 I don't Quotes every day you give us. Really, it's a blessing to some of us. We learn a lot from you, and you know, you you you, you are free spirit. And I know that. So that day, your sky. Inshallah. Links podcast. Thank you for passing. Essen hadi. Over Germany na one by Essen. I'm by links podcast. I do it. Yeah. One by Essen. Yes. Na one links podcast. I'm on Komwa. And yeah, oh, oh, oh my, thank for the review. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless.